Welcome to On the Road to the Moon. Today, we explore the incredible RS-25 engine nozzle, a perfect blend of machinery and art. So let's get into it. Nate, the RS-25 engine, this nozzle, I've been waiting to hear about this, so tell me about it. Yeah, yeah, sure. So the RS-25 nozzle is pretty fun to work on because it's really the only part of the, uh, the rocket engine you see on the aft end of the SLS rocket, the, big, the four big uh, bell-shaped nozzles at the aft end. Um, it's pretty exciting because it's really on the edges of engineering in terms of how thin the structures are while also maintaining the, um, the radical environment that it sees through operation. Let's go talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So the nozzle on the inside has all of these coolant tubes. You can see some here and here. Right. Uh, and this is what we call the hot wall uh, for obvious reasons. And this sees over 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Whereas the coolant tubes are flowing uh, using regenerative cooling to tap off from the liquid hydrogen, the negative 420 degrees Fahrenheit liquid hydrogen. And so those two uh, surfaces are, are uh, separated by less than the thickness of a credit card. And so radical extremes on, on the edges of engineering understanding, frankly, uh, while also experiencing some radical um, uh, dynamic environments during operation. So it's fun to work on, it's fun, fun to figure out how to manufacture this thing, uh, and it's exciting to be one small part of the, the Artemis program. I hope you enjoyed learning about this engineering marvel, which will help power our journey to the moon and beyond. So keep your rockets fueled and your dreams soaring, and we'll see you next time on the Road to the Moon. <laughs>